everything in standing. Just go ahead and pop up with me here. And we're gonna do each movement for about 30 seconds or so before we dive right in. So let's get our clock set up here. So for this first warm up, we're gonna combine two different movements that we've done many times here with me in the warm up before. So go ahead and just follow along. We're gonna raise each knee and then we're gonna do a little tap, little half jack to each side. So march and tap. Knee, lift, tap. So we're getting everything moving and also activating the abdominals, especially when we raise those knees nice and high. out here today hopefully they don't get me okay one more little tap to each side and then go ahead and create a wider stance here we're just gonna make a nice big X with our body so bring those arms up and we're just gonna reach for those alternate toes feel free to bend each knee as you reach towards each toe so crossing that middle line of the body here starting to get things moving in different ranges of motion. All right, take a couple more. Let's do one more little tap to each side. All right, see what else we've got here. Oh yeah, we're just gonna do some shuffles to each side to kind of get our heart rate up a little bit here. So we did these in total body strength with a little toe tap the other day. We're gonna skip that. We're just gonna shuffle one, two, three, one, two, three to the other side. So just getting things moving. We're breathing, setting the tone here. So 10 more seconds, and then we'll get into our first exercise of the workout. Let's take one more little shuffle to each side. All right, hopefully we're nice and ready. We're gonna be coming into each thing for about a minute today. So stay standing with me here. We are gonna start with, I call these knee dives. So bringing your arms up, step on the right leg. You're just gonna bring that left knee up. So just like that, we're alternating here. So stretching nice and tall as we lift those arms. And then as we lift each knee, we're just easing into that little crunch, working the core. And so I'm kind of moving at a moderate pace right now, but you can take it as slow as you need to. Remembering we always want quality over quantity. Breathing. Fifteen more seconds to go. Keep it strong. We're going for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So taking right hand behind the head for support. We're going to do single oblique crunches. So we'll do each side for 30 seconds. So let's start with our right arm up here and we're just going to crunch left. So you should feel a nice squeeze in those left side abdominals. You can even do a little slight bend in your standing leg here. We're halfway through on this side. Make sure that you're breathing. See if you can try to go for an exhale as you crunch to get the most out of your ab work. Give me two more on this side. Okay, switch it out. Left hand behind the ear and exhale, squeeze. So making that mind muscle connection, we're gonna think about those right side abs as we crunch over to each side. We've got about 10 more seconds to go. And we're breathing for three, two, one, 
Nice. So keeping with our standing series, we are going to do little alternating pike kicks. You're going to reach opposite fingertips to the opposite toes. So I'm going to kick my left leg first and reach those right fingertips. So we're just simply going to reach. And I'm kind of windmilling my arm around here. You can always lessen it by just raising either arm. So think of really scooping in through those lower abdominals as you raise each alternate leg. Now if you look at me from the side here, I'm doing a slight little bend in my bottom knee as I bring each foot up, just to kind of protect my low back. So what will also help protect the spine here is actively squeezing through those abs as we exhale. Feel that little crunch. This is gonna be our last exercise in standing and then we're gonna to start to taper it down to the mat. We're going for three, two, one. Whoo, nice job. So go ahead and meet me down on the floor, down on your mat. We are gonna bring things down little by little by starting with a kneel. So we've done these one other time. They are kneeling side crunches, so they're going to look like this. We're gonna go for a minute on each side. If this is not where we're at today, we are gonna substitute it with a little lying side crunch, just like this. Okay, so start to prepare yourself in the prep that works for you. If you're taking it from the kneel, you'll come onto that left knee, right leg long. You can always support yourself with a prop underneath that bottom hand. Think shoulder over wrist. So long arm, we're gonna exhale, squeeze and crunch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. And as far as that top hand, you can make a fist, you could do a blade, your preference there. So pace yourself on these, because we are gonna go the full minute on each side rather than splitting that time interval. We are halfway through. You can always take a break and just hold your modified side plank too. But still working the core and strengthening. And squeeze. We're down to 10 more seconds. Almost there. For five, four, three, two, one. Nice and easy. Let's switch out sides. So coming onto right knee, extend long through that left leg or do your lying side crunch. You'd lie down on your right side with hands behind the neck for just light support. And let's get started. Exhaling, crunch. So make each repetition count. We're not concerned with being too speedy or rushing through. We want to keep things nice and controlled. Pacing ourselves. We are halfway through. So seeing if we can finish strong. Squeezing through abdominals on those exhales. Ten more seconds. Almost there. Give me one more. All right, very nice. So as we continue to taper down, we're going to come on down to our spines. And if you are incorporating a proper medicine ball at this point, go ahead and get that handy. And we'll have options too for how to come into this without the ball as well. So this is a, called a dead bug. It's a, I'm gonna do a variation of it. Normally in dead bug, we do like, op, we lengthen opposite leg and opposite arm. But in this case, we are gonna use the medicine ball and bring both arms back each time to add a little bit of resistance. So coming onto our spine, 
Let's break this down before we start. You're gonna bend your knees with your shins parallel to the floor. Flatten your low back and entire spine into the mat here. You're gonna have a good grip on your ball and lengthen your arms up. So you're gonna kick out each alternate leg. You're gonna bring the ball overhead and then bring things perpendicular to the ground and then do the opposite side. So if you're not using anything, you're welcome to just do imaginary ball or you could always move um, opposite arm to opposite leg, a traditional dead bug as well. So set yourself up. We're gonna go in three, two, one. So no matter what variation you're taking, as far as the lower body goes, it's alternate legs kicking out. We might have both arms going back or alternating opposite arm to opposite leg. Breathing halfway through. Using control. Make sure you're breathing in and out. We're getting closer. Less than 10 seconds. For three, two, last one. Okay, good job. So, Two more exercises to go. This next one is going to kind of be our challenge of the workout. And I'll have a couple different options here. So let's go over some more simple options first. We want to keep this nice and easy. I've got two different options for you. We can do just a slow mountain climber. Second modification is just to do plank to downward dog, plug your shoulders in when you lift up and scoop in your lower abs and you can shift back and forth. So the full version, I have named these uh, um, down doggy climbers. So you're doing a little climb leg, pressing back to a three-legged down dog, downward dog, plank, other side. Takes a couple times to get the rhythm, but you'll find a flow eventually. So just follow along with me, choose one that works. Feel free to mix it up. So I'm gonna start right, kick back, down, plank, other side. Back to plank, crunch, lift, down, plank. Climber, three-legged dog, down, plank. So just one movement at a time. So like I said, this one is the one that's the challenge. So feel free to just break it down and come into those climbers, or maybe you practice a plank to down dog, maybe even just a plank hold. Less than 15 seconds. Finish out with just one more. All right, bring it on down to the knees. We are down to our last exercise. If you've got the medicine ball, we're gonna incorporate that. We are going to do a full sit up with arms overhead. Have a nice firm grip on your ball or just do imaginary or if you're not able to sit all the way up, you can always supplement with just regular crunches. Just make sure you don't pull on your neck and that you're really using your abdominals to crunch up. So as we get prepared, I've got my ball overhead here. I'm gonna sit up and reach up with the ball. Roll back down. So make sure you don't go too far back with your ball once you roll back down here. Protect your shoulders. Use your core to stabilize the ball as we bring it up and down. We're halfway through, almost to the end. Keep 
keeping with the rhythm of your breath. Less than 10 seconds. We're gonna make this our last one. Squeeze, bring it down nice and easy. Great job. So if you have time, finish out with a little cool down with me. You can just stay on your spine. Long legs, stretch those arms nice and long up by the ears. Breathe. Start to let your breath and heart rate just gently come back down. We're gonna exhale, bring your left knee in towards your body, little wrapping in using the hands. And let's switch it out. So right knee in, left leg long. Go ahead and scoop right knee back in again here. Just really soften through your core and abs. Just disengage. Give them a little rock from right to left. And we're going to stretch things out a little further by taking a twist. So just bring things still back to the middle. Take your arms out to either side. We're just going to exhale. Let the knees fall to one side here. Just letting torso stretch back out with a gentle twist. Continue to just soften your breath, relax your back body. And nice and easy, unwinding. We'll exhale over to the other side. We'll give it one more full breath here. And we'll just wrap it back to the middle. We'll go ahead and just rock our way up here. That's all we've got for today. I hope that was a good workout for you. Hopefully I will see you next week. Just a reminder that Monday is Memorial Day. So if you're keeping with me, I will see you on Tuesday then. Have a great weekend.